Hi, this is John Guandolo from Understanding the Threat. Today is September 11th, 2021. It's been 20 years since Islamic jihadis from Al Qaeda attacked the United States, killing thousands of Americans, wounding others. And we've spent 20 years fighting wars in numerous countries. And yet, the Islamic organizations in the United States that supported not only 9-11, but the attacks in Boston, in Chattanooga, several places in Texas, and all over the United States, that network of Islamic organizations is still intact. The mosques and the organizations like the Islamic Society of North America and its subsidiaries, the Muslim Students Associations, the North American Islamic Trust, which owns tons of properties around the United States and is a part of the Muslim Brotherhood movement, Hamas doing business as CARE, the Islamic Circle of North America, the International Institute of Islamic Thought, and all the other organizations, the prominent Islamic organizations in the United States have the same objective as Al-Qaeda and they support these jihadi attacks. Yet 20 years after 9-11, they remain untouched. And through four administrations, they've remained untouched. And not only that, our leaders are supporting them. At the White House level, Republican and Democrat administrations supporting interfaith outreach, which is completely controlled by the Muslim Brotherhood. At the local level, city councils, school boards, chambers of commerce, police departments continue to work with these Muslim Brotherhood organizations that are the backdrop and the support for the same people that killed our fellow Americans on 9-11 and in the battles since. It's time it stops. Join Understanding the Threat now and let us show you where these organizations are in your community so we can crush them and rid America of this cancer once and for all.